All right, so we got a got an air conditioner. We got to recover. And Vivor sent this thing out, and I used it once already. Seemed to work really good. It's got off, slow recovery, fast recovery, and purge. I like the purge on there. So we're going to get set up and this model is rr250 reasonable cost for it and we also have the scale too if they were nice enough to send out this is the lx 36575a nice little scale budget so let me get set up I'll show you how to use this okay, we're all set up here's the scale I was talking about it's got a, it looks like it's got a res 100 let's see so I have it set to pounds we can do kilograms or ounces I'm gonna open this up here I'm gonna zero it hit slow recover jeez oh Pete do I even have anything in here Let's see what pressure I got. So it's not registering any pressure there. Oh, that's why I have a valve shut off. Valve. There we go. Turn it to off. Slow recover. We're on the vapor line so we can fast recover. Turn it over to fast recover. I have to not trip and fall, but I have to change the valve out down there. PSI that's reading about the same so it's pretty accurate so we are going to just let this run but for a budget option for a recovery machine that's a pretty good option nice and rugged casing same with the scale if I needed to buy a scale, I would definitely consider buying the scale due to the fact is I don't use the scale that often and that's a perfect option compared to compared to other options which cost you a lot more money. If you just need a scale, that's the perfect option right there. Also it did come with a filter dryer and a hose for your inlet did come with a replacement screen for your inlet. I'm not using this today due to the fact that I know what I'm dealing with. It's a newer system. Also comes with the owner's manual. So we will we'll just uh, let this recover and go from there. Okay. There's a valve I got to replace. Had to recover the whole system. Couldn't pump it back. So that's why we're using that recovery machine. We're about 15 minutes in. Just on, uh, just pulling on the suction side. And we are done. Second time I used the machine. Seems to work really good. Not really loud. And I'm in a vacuum. I'm in a vacuum already. So... 
which shut the hose. Shut the hose. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna purge into, into the tank. So it's purging everything here. G5 twin, I'll have liquid refrigerant at that point. It's kind of a nuisance, but having the purge option is nice. I've always liked that. There you go. There you go. We pulled five pounds out. Nice, nice. Okay, that is it for the Vivor recovery machine. Nice option, nice budget option. Recovery machines are a lot of money, but this is a good option. Same with the scale. I think the recovery machine is under 400 and the scale is under 100. I haven't looked on Amazon lately, but. It takes 9 volt battery, the scale does. It has a little stand. On off even has a light you can take the scale out of the box but I prefer to just leave it in there blow molded curing case with latches handle very nice this oops Oh, right here. This machine does have a detachable cord, which is nice. On my G5 Twin, my Appian, it does not have a detachable cord, and it's kind of annoying. This you can stow away. The cord you can stow away. And just have the machine without the cord. Very nice detail. Not very it's not very heavy maybe 12 to 15 pound unit let's see let's get some measurements on it and that was 17 17 by nine and a half by 15 inches tall And that fits right there. Works good. Like I said, I can detach the whole the, the cord and stow that away in a different drawer. 
instead of having a cord slinging around on the floor all the time. It's about the same. So I have that Appian G5 Twin up there. It's about the same weight. That G5 Twin is a little more compact, but like I said, I like the perch feature on that PC equipment. I don't do too much recovery. I just don't. Um, not lately. Actually, this year I've done more than a lot of years. But nice budget PC equipment. Okay, that's it for this one. So, I gotta replace that on my VNA. Just use my Vivor recovery machine. And I got a scale right there that I used. So, we got the unit recovered. I got it all apart. We had a leak from the factory on one of the, on the suction valve. Oh, do I have it apart? It's a VNA. You can see all the oil down there. This was leaking. So, we are going to get this out of here. I got it all torn apart. Oh, it's horrible. This has only been installed for like, I don't know, two months. Very bad environmental around here. We're going to have to clean this coil up. So, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to unbraze it from back there. Hopefully I don't catch anything on fire. I'm going to have to uh, actually wipe all that oil up before I, the whole thing goes up in smoke. Detach it at the suction line going into the unit. Uh, and then I'll detach it at, this, uh, at that uh, 45 down there. And we'll get the new one on. But let me wipe that up. 